And our final uh, student speaker is Glory Mae Hernandez. Thank you, Mrs. Stafford, administrators, teachers, parents, and the graduating class. We did it! <laughs> We have completed this milestone in our life called eighth grade. But if you include preschool and kindergarten, it's really 10th grade, but who's counting? <laughs> the important thing is, is that we're life learners. Most of you know that I'm not a stranger to public speaking, but I am more nervous to do this than anything I've ever done. I rewrote this speech four times. I, I just want it to be perfect. Perfection, <laughs> it's a funny word. I looked up what it meant and it said, the condition, state, or quality of being free or as free as possible from flaws. That sounds really stressful. <laughs> so then I looked up the definition of stress. A state of mental or emotional strain or tension resulting from adverse or demanding circumstances. This brought me even more stress. <laughs> now I have to worry about strain and tension, that doesn't sound healthy. Then I ask myself, self, how do I reach a state of perfection without being engulfed by stress? And I realize there's two ways. Number one, be naturally gifted at something. For me, number one was not an option, so then I went to number two, <laughs> which is to follow your passions. Now, I don't think I've ever reached a state of perfection, but by following my passions, I've had a lot more fun trying to get there. And now I'm not the only one who knows how to do this. And I see it all over the school, like Adam in our science class. I, I don't know how you do it, but you comprehend it a different level. And you're just so smart. And I witnessed some very creative people like Jerrica and Aaron who have theatrical talents. and. Sarah with a voice like an angel, and Ryan, whose art projects are so beautiful, and Jabez, an amazing writer. And you all make me so jealous, and in the same breath, you make the world a better place. I've also met great leaders like Daniel, who simply lives in the moment and makes life more fun, and Nikki, who has a beautiful giving heart through a church for others. And I've seen talented teachers who care enough to share their gifts with us. And as a, the daughter of two teachers, I know you're not doing it for the money. But, <laughs> <laughs> but first, Mr. Caldwell, a, a t our history teacher who not only looks like Captain America a little, he is a real life superhero in our military as a flight medic. So thank you so much for your service. And Mrs. Erickson, who has inspired me to be a better writer, and Ms. Sylvia, who I chose this school because I met, and I love your passion for art. And to all our teachers, I want to thank you. We can all agree that you have changed our lives for the better in some way. And here's a quote from one of my favorite artists that I believe you should hold on to forever. No one can change a person, but a person can be the reason someone changes. SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> <laughs> About two miles away from here, Judy Garland grew up. When you look at her character, Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, she's a lot like you or me. Oh, Toto, she has pets. <laughs> I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Social peer pressure. <laughs> Come out, come out, wherever you are, and meet the young lady who fell from a star. The sweet grandmother, guardian, or fairy godmother who's always there to help. Who dropped a house on my sister? I'll get you, my little pretty, and your little dog, too. The crazy girl who wants to ruin your life. <laughs> Please, I just want to go home. And then click your heels three times and say, there's no place like home. And that's the secret. The, 
going out there and riding that tornado that we call life, but always remembering that in your heart there's no place like home. So eighth grade class of 2017, I wish you the best of luck. And never stop dreaming of what's on the other side of the rainbow because only a dreamer can make a dream come true. You will always be part of my home. Thank you.